Okay, I'm going to talk you through some of my flutes. This is a flute my father gave to me in the 60s. It's an alto flute, a monic alto flute. An alto flute's much deeper than an ordinary flute. Yeah, it's pretty deep. And these are just my silver flutes. I've got two or three of these. These are Yamaha, and this is the sort of flute that I'd play on the stage. And if I only take one piece of luggage with me anywhere in the world, it's this. And that's why I wanted to learn the flute. I used to be a drummer, and I couldn't be bothered packing up the kit. Time you pack up the kit, the girls have all gone home. So I decided something like this is really cool. You just whip it out. But then I sort of wanted to get into a bit of fantasy land. So I had my friend Satram, who did the Spongle mask, we all know. He made me some virtual guitars and stuff like this, which I play on stage sometimes. when, And they all have lights and inner flashing things. Then he made me a series of uh, some hats, which is, uh, this is my DMT hat, which I put on and I can go DMT, LSD, D, 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 D. And then we have um, a Frisbee hat. Yeah, this is a Frisbee hat, which he made, which is amazing. It glows in the dark too. And it's like, my head feels like a Frisbee. And all of that, you know all of that sort of stuff. Right, what else have we got here? Oh, yeah, um, snake horn. Fantastic instrument, this. Comes from the Amazon. You blow it like <gasps> And, of course, it's blocked at the moment. It needs a bit of a laxative, but that is a spongle snake. These are small spongle horns, which are sort of portable things, too. You have to play those. And here's a spongle trumpet. Look at this one. Oh, they all have lights and keys and they and so on. And these, um, these are sort of things that we have on stage just to make it more fun and more exciting. Um, what else do we have? There's another spongle mask over here, um, which is sort of fun too. You know, we can come out on stage with things like this and go, you know, welcome to spongle land. Come on in. Stuff like that. And uh, Mexican art, we always love that. One of the great things about Mexican, it's not the food, but it's the art. There's a little psychedelic pawn, his wing dropped off, how typical. Um, yeah, these little funny little objects like that too. They all do this peyote carving stuff. I love all this stuff. All this is based on peyote vision and made in a peyote tribe in the middle of Mexico. Brilliant stuff here. Yeah. Can't beat, uh, yeah, here's another piece of that. Let me check out some of those patterns there. They're all based on peyote visions. So I'm told. Uh, yeah, and what else have we got over here? Yeah, this is probably one of the best things in the universe, which is from nature, which is just a butterfly wing. And I guess if you move it and get certain angles, but I mean, who created that? Can anything be more beautiful than a butterfly wing fluttering? Maybe a hummingbird with iridescent wings sucking on a hibiscus, but otherwise than that, probably not. Oh yeah, that's another little creature. Oh, I must show you this creature. Come over here. This is uh, something I found in my mattress in Mexico when I undid the bed sheets. And uh, that was in the pillow here. It was a cheap hotel, I've got to say. But, uh, you know, when you're on the road, you've got to take what you can get. My sound systems, paintings, the watercolors and stuff like that. And this is, oh, there's the sleeping Buddha up there. You can see him having a, a little repose up there. The sleeping Buddha. And as we see, it's a lovely sunny day in London in November. How extraordinary. It's a perfect day to have you in my pad. What a pleasure to share a few things with you.